Hey guys, how you doing? Mowers and blowers here again. Uh, this is a Toro weed trimmer. My uh, next door neighbor found it on the street and uh, it didn't have a um, trimmer head. So I just uh, went on eBay and got this trimmer head. It was only like nine bucks. Pretty good deal, man. Comes with uh, corded that's on the inside. Um, this thing is one of those uh, speed feed feed speed speed feed kind of heads you know you just stick the cord in pull it all the way about halfway and then just turn this thing and it just sucks it right in and coils it uh you know recoils it itself um when i got this i tried it and what happened was this uh recoil starter the rope was all the way out you know so uh i took uh these four bolts off took off the recoil starter and uh inside sure enough that uh metal uh recoil um wire came off one end you know so you just i just bent it again stuck it back in and uh coiled it again put the rope through knotted it and uh looks like it's good to go i put a little grease in there and all that anyway so i tried to start it and it wouldn't start um it has mixed fuel in there uh, i checked the gas lines and uh it, the um fuel filter did fall off on the inside so i replaced it back on here and replaced this fuel line because the other one was kind of crummy but anyway so um when I push it, right, there's air. When I push it, there's air, right? However, here's the fuel line. No fuel is getting sucked in. So, and this is always empty, you know. Some, sometimes you see fuel that's in here, you know, with bubbles and stuff. So it pushes, retracts. Air does go through this hose in there because you see bubbles in the water. Uh, the gas you hear the noise however no gas is being sucked up into the carburetor um, I pulled the fuel filter back out again blew through it sucked through it and it, it does you know get air through I even tried to do this without the fuel filter and no gas was going through here so I think I've got some kind of blockage inside the uh, carburetor so basically I'm gonna take the air filter off Side. So here's the uh, outside base. This is full choke, you know, where you don't allow that much air in there. And this is medium and then full run. It's too, uh, I already loosened this up for this video, so I didn't take it off yet. But uh, it's just two torque screws, long ones. Anyway, that's what it that's what it looks like I'm gonna take this off uh, with two hands so I took this off and uh, when I took it off I think I know what the problem was this little hose here was not even connected to this part here so this little thin hose here that's like an inch and a half this part was off it wasn't even on there so now that I reconnected it Fuel is now going into the carburetor. I think that's all it was, you know. See that? Now fuel is going into the bubble <laughs> and going through. So I, I'm hoping that's all it was. It makes sense now because now fuel is, I've never seen this before. Fuel is actually filling the bubble, you know, it didn't do that before. Gas is going through there and into the bubble. So I'm going to put those two bolts back, air cleaner, and try to start it up. First pull, that's all it was, man. It's amazing, huh? It's amazing how you can just troubleshoot things, you know, and it wasn't really hard at all. It's just two bolts, two torque bolts. You take it off and, you know, you can see what was going on, you know. Um, I'm going to try to start this up again and warm it up. All right, so I got it off, choke a little bit. Seems to run pretty well, with, you know, without me touching anything. Let's try this. Really? 
really well, huh? At high throttle like that? Alright. That's how you troubleshoot and uh, get it to start. This is uh, Toro. 51976. Runs great. There, it's stuck, it off. there you go. So, uh, trash pick free. Spent nine bucks on the uh, trimmer head, and I uh, just reconnected the hose. Well, I did. I did change the gas line, you know, and fix the recoil starter. That took a little bit, you know. But uh, so nine bucks is always spent, and maybe a total of an hour fixing it. So I'm going to give this back to my friend who found it, you know, I mean, it, you know, he found it. I, he's a good neighbor. He uh, brings me a couple of lawnmowers here and there, you know, with the stuff that he finds on the street. But, uh, yeah, man, this is a gift for him. Uh, works great. Ready for the uh, spring. We've got uh, another month to go, but nevertheless, uh, nice little trimmer. I've been a big fan of Toros, you know. Other people say it's trash, but every Toro I've had always worked great and lasted a long time, you know. Anyway, see you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers.